Good morning to everyone. So my topic for today's clinical meeting is being alone is dangerous. I'm presenting on behalf of Medicine 3. So Mrs. Sujata, she is a 21 years old primary with 26 weeks, two days gestation, admitted in labor room for uncontrolled hypertension. She was found to have hypertension during her first antenatal visit in Ambur during December. On evaluation, she was found to have left renal agenesis with compensatory hypertrophy of solitary right kidney. During that time, she had history of headache and blurring of vision, which was resolved after taking antihypertensive. There was no history of chest pain or breathlessness, vomiting, abdominal pain or decreased urine output and no history suggestive of connective tissue disorders or other autoimmune illness. Her index blood pressure was 220 systolic. There were no family history of atherosclerotic, cardiovascular events or young heart attacks or stroke. Past significant uh, and no history of OCP intake as well. Menstrual history, her regular, uh, cycles are regular and the LMP was 27, 10, 2022. So examination, she was conscious, oriented, lying comfortable, not in distress, uh, no pickle, JVP was not elevated. Pulse rate of 82, normal volume, regular rhythm, no radio radial or near radio femoral delay. BP on the right upper limb was 176 uh, per 80 mmHg and the left upper limb was 170 per 80 mmHg. Right lower limb was 158 systolic and left lower limb was 156 systolic. Systemic examination were within normal limits except against stolic mama present in aortic and pulmonary area. So, the differentials, what you can think of. She is a young female, primary, presented with left renal agenesis and right kidney compensatory hypertrophy. Evaluation found to have abnormal blood pressure, raised blood pressure in all four limbs. There were no uh, pulse abnormalities. With the systemic examination, we are in the normal range. Renal artistinosis. Shall we? Since she was diagnosed with uh, hypertension during first three months, first trimester, so it was considered as a secondary hypertension and which the differentials which we are considered were single kidney, uh, vasculitis, renal artery stenosis, pheochromocytoma, hyperaldosteronism, primary bar secondary and hyperthyroidism. So upon investigation, the hemoglobin was found to be 11.2 platelets of 2,36,000. LFT was almost in the normal range with creatinine of normal 0.79 and UPUC was slightly elevated 0.34. Uric acid was 3.4 and 24 urine protein was less than 300. 24 urine metanephrine is also in the normal range with the LDH of 250. ANA, C3, C4, ANCA, CRP were negative. Urine analysis was normal. That magnesium, uh, she admitted with hypertension, uh, uncontrolled hypertension in view of impending eclampsia. She was treated with multiple doses of Maxwell. That's why the value is little on the higher range. Sugar levels are okay and TSH of 2.097. ECG and echo suggestive of LVH and Pandas showed grade 2 hypertensive changes. In electrolytes, sodium of 136, potassium of 2.8, bicarb of 22. ABG showed metabolic alkalosis with the pH of 7.52 with bicarb of 26.9. Renin was found to be 421 and aldosterone was found to be more than 1000. In dilution also it came around 2420 and 1710 on repeated values. 
went ahead with UOG abdomen. Uh, in the UOG abdomen, left kidney was not seen. Right kidney shows compensatory hypertrophy with normal vascularity and the size of 12.5 cm. We went ahead with MR angiogram renal arteries. Right renal artery was normal in caliber at its origin along its course and normal branching. Adenals look structurally normal and no evidence of vestigial kidney or renal artery on the left. So we come to have a syndrome complex of uncontrolled hypertension with hypokalemia, metabolic alkalosis, high renin and high aldosterone and uh, features favor of secondary hyperaldosteronism. So uh, then we found out causes for uh, hypertension with increased plasma renin activity. So here the possibilities are renovascular hypertension, unilateral or bilateral renal parenchymal disease. Hypertension is associated with OCP, renin secreting tumors and coarctation of iota. Since there is no obvious pulse deficit and uh, obvious changes in blood pressure, we have adequately ruled out coarctation of iota. Imaging was normal, we ruled out renin secreting tumors and creat was normal and they uh, ruled out renal parenchymal diseases and there were no history of OCP intake, then we are left out with renovascular hypertension, even though renal artery uh, in the imaging look like. So she was started on medication on arrival and her anti-hypertensive dose were titrated and uh, she was on labitalol 400 mg Q6 thalli, hydrolysin 50 mg Q6 thalli, nifedipine 20 mg Q6 thalli. With this BP was not controlled, then we added prezosin and the epilernone was added. Since epilernone is a category B drug, because we didn't have any other option to suppress this renin aldosterone axis, so we added have epilernone, it's a category B drug. And she was having, she was found to have refractory hypokalemia despite multiple correction. Her highest potassium documented was 3.7 and the lowest was 2.4. She required daily correction of IV KCL along with syrup KCL. So patient current status, she underwent emergency LSES on 14th of May due to deteriorating maternal condition along with chronic hypertension super superimposed with severe preeclampsia. Post-operative, her blood pressure is found to be in the normal range, 120 of 80 mmHg. Currently, she is on single anti-hypertensive, tab nifedipine retard 10 mg twice daily. And the provided if BP is normal, we are planning to taper that also. KCL 20 ml BD. Baby is alive with birth weight of 1.1 kg with preterm and prematurity and extreme low birth weight. So her investigation day before yesterday, sorry, yesterday, uh, showing potassium of 3.7, she is on KCL correction with normal creatinine and sodium of 134. So we came to a possible conclusion as there is solitary right kidney with compensatory right, compensatory right renal hypertrophy with left renal agenesis. Uh, in this condition, it, the normal compensated uh, right kidney, the uh, normal compensated solitary kidney with the normal vessel, normal renal vessel in caliber, normal caliber, it might function as functional renal artery stenosis with the effect of progesterone in the second trimester. The effect of progesterone in the second trimester on vascular system will be exacerbated and uh, even the normal renal artery will, function, will behave as functional renal artery stenosis. This conclusion we have made after discussion after MDT with endocrine, nephrology, OMC and OBG. So the take home points is intensive agents which we can use safely in pregnancy and what are the things we need to avoid. So every patient we can consider uh, nifedipine, long, long acting preparations, beta blocker, hydrolysin which are found to be safe along with methyl dopa. Since uh, non-availability of methyl dopa, we didn't use in our patient. And ACRB inhibitors and MRS, mineralocortical receptor antagonists should be avoided. Thank you. Any questions? Only ultrasound was done, is it? We did the MRA also. Yeah. Any questions?
Yes, sir. Yeah. We can move on to the next one.